Hello friends, uh, my name is Vijay and in this video we are presenting our work on evaluation of causal inference techniques for AI ops. So the problem setting is as follows. Uh, imagine that you have a large IT system possibly running on the cloud uh, that consists of tens or hundreds of microservices and each of these microservices emits a log message over time. Now IT systems typically face faults from time to time and when that happens Usually an incident ticket is created and a group of IT engineers, you know, get together to resolve that fault at the, uh, at the earliest. Now, one of the key inputs that these engineers need is a causality of events so that they could, uh, you know, narrow down the root cause of the problem and then rectify any issues with that specific uh, microservice. Now, although uh, prior literature has uh, proposals on using uh, a couple of different Granger causal inference uh, methods on log data. There is no comprehensive evaluation of different Granger causal inference techniques for uh, for AI ops. So, as a consequence, uh, you know, IT engineers do not know which algorithms to use in different settings, which algorithms yield high accuracy, which algorithms scale well, and and so on. And this work essentially tries to address that, uh, address that gap. So uh, we consider a benchmark train ticket microservice system, and we deploy this, um, this microservice system on a Kubernetes cluster, and we inject faults in different microservices. We collect the log messages. Uh, we bin them into a time series or uh, an event sequence, and then feed them to uh, three families of Granger causal inference techniques. These are uh, ones based on conditional independence tests. So here we have PC, PC mod, MMPC, and using different conditional independence tests such as G-square, RCOT, and partial correlation. And we have another family of Granger causal techniques based on regression, you know, which essentially try to figure out if the future of a time series can be regressed based on the past of uh, other time series. So here we use, um, Bayesian linear regression and Bayesian lasso techniques. And lastly, we also used graphical even model-based methods. So here we use the PGM algorithm. So references uh, to all these algorithms is actually available in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the paper. Now, each of these algorithm essentially tries to compute a causal graph of this form. So for example, here we have uh, a graph where, uh, you know, the uh, golden colored um, arrow marks uh, represent the uh, correct uh, computation of a true causal uh, relationship. The gray colored edge represents a superfluous causal relationship and the dotted arrow is one where an uh, algorithm failed to uh, compute this causal relationship. It missed this, um, it, it sort of missed computing this uh, relationship. So once we have this information, we compute the precision recall and F1 score for each of these uh, algorithms. So what we observed uh, based on evaluation of one data set is that the graphically even bottom based method actually yields the highest accuracy. And this is something that was uh, not known in the existing literature. Uh, however, uh, some of the other methods such as a PC uh, and MMPC, et cetera, also are actually pretty close by and not too far behind the PGM method. And all of these other algorithms also have a good number of parameters. So you could divide your data sets into train and test, and then you know, fine tune the parameters, and that also results in the improvement of the F1 score for these algorithms. So um, we want to sort of continue uh, evaluating these algorithms and also include a new family of methods such as neural Granger methods and compare their performance with all of these algorithms. Uh, in this particular data set, uh, one font essentially impacted four different microservices, and we want to increase that, essentially consider data sets where you know, one fault can impact like 10 or you know, 12 different microservices and so on. And we also want to check how these algorithms scale with a large number of uh, microservices. Another line of work that we want to undertake is you know, figure out what is the impact of different types of errors either in labeling of log messages as normal later on, yes, and also if there's any uh, jitter effect in the sense that if a log message, um, its timing was not captured correctly, how that would impact the 
um, uh, the accuracy of the algorithm because that seems to be a, a, a pretty important problem for for real uh, for real enterprise applications. So um, that is all I had for this presentation. Uh, I hope you got an overview of our work. So please glance uh, uh, the paper and also uh, please feel free to input your questions uh, during the conference. Thank you.